So we've all had that one weird teacher that leaves a mark on us. And for me, it was Essie Runner. Essie wasn't a full-time teacher, she was a substitute, and it did not matter what she was subbing. It could be PE class, it could be English class. Didn't matter, she would take all the time she could to tell you about the magic and wonder of wheatgrass juice. It actually was really irritating. You could ask her to help you with a math problem and she would just run right over it and tell you all about wheatgrass. Your class could be doing a Romeo and Juliet reading and she'd say, you know what would have saved those kids? Wheatgrass juice. She was a living meme before memes were even a thing. And she was as old as dirt. She would tell you all the time that she was like 90 something years old because of drinking all this wheatgrass juice. I actually have no idea how old she really was, but she would boast about how old she was a lot. So during PE one day, my friend Rachel sprained her ankle and she was in the kind of agony that would bring tears to your eyes. Miss Runner was making her way over to us and me being the little shite that I was, I started plucking out tons of grass from the football field and rubbing it on Rachel's legs saying, don't worry, I'm on it. Miss Runner was furious. She was like, you know what? You come to my house after school and I will tell you all about wheatgrass juice and it will change your life forever. And I was like, all right. At 17 years old, I had almost zero sense of self-preservation. I do not recommend going to a teacher's house, but she gave me her address and I prepared myself. I got my best friend, Anne, Anne's younger brother, Mike, and their younger, younger brother, Dale. Dale was in seventh grade, so he was super excited, like, oh yeah, my sister's cool friend is picking me up from school. I don't have to ride the bus. Then once we got him in the car, it was like, yeah, we're going to Miss Runner's house. And he's like, no, we're not. Oh, but we are. No, we're not. He finally believed us once we were standing on her front porch knocking on the door. And she opened it. She looked genuinely surprised. I had called her bluff. She ushered us through her house into her kitchen and I noticed the electricity was out and she said it was because the people that lived behind her in the little apartment complex had started a fire, probably because they were making drugs, because they were drug users. So we're already off to a great start. So she busts out this ancient hand crank juicer because obviously without electricity, no electric juicer. And yes, she did grow her own wheatgrass. So it was, it was in these little cups and we would put it in the thing and we just crank and crank. And as we're cranking, she's telling us about all the wonderful things that wheatgrass juice can do for us. It can cure blindness. It can cure deafness. It can cure cancer. And best of all, she said, grabbing my fleshiest fat roll, it even cures obesity. I was too shocked at the audacity to protest. We finally get enough juice for each of us to take like this tiny sip. It was the most foul thing I think I've ever tasted. But in all fairness, I usually ate a pile of Doritos and a Dr. Pepper for lunch every day, so my palate wasn't as refined as Miss Runner's. She told us she literally didn't eat solids unless it was just blades of grass, but mostly her intake was this wheatgrass juice. Her house was really strange too. She had everything boarded up and I did ask her about that. And she said it was because she didn't wanna to have to pay for heating or cooling those rooms. Now, 17 year old me thought that was really weird, but 40 year old me finds that extremely relatable. <laughs> so as we're walking out of her house, she makes it a point to loudly fart. And she says, it won't smell because of the wheatgrass juice. She was wrong. <laughs> Dale never wanted us to pick him up from school again. I went home and wrote the song, it even cures obesity, obesity, obesity. There were some rumors about her too that she would suntan naked on the roof of her house, but I have no idea if that's true or not. If she did though, that is a serious power move and I approve wholeheartedly. All right, that's gonna be all for today, but if you have any stories you'd like to share, mention it in the comments and I'll reply. Bye. It even cures obesity, obesity, obesity.